I'm wearing the new um, Too Faced highlight in. It's in You Light My Life Up and it's so pretty. Let me show you guys. I still haven't done my nails. Look at it. Look at it. It's so pretty. Anyways, hi guys. So today's video is going to be a little different. It's not a beauty video. It's a fitness video. I mentioned to you guys on Snapchat that I'm going to have Fridays be Fitness Friday just because I want to incorporate fitness into my YouTube because hello, if you've ever seen my YouTube like URL, it, it's called Flabs of Steel. I started this channel off as a fitness channel and just I gotta keep at it. Today's video is gonna be a little fun. It is 10 things people don't tell you about being fit. And now these are things that I've come across throughout the years that I never realized before I started working out. And now this will be great for beginners. It's not a serious video, it's just something fun and some things that you can look at for a while you are starting your journey into fitness. Number one, you have to wash your hair a lot. And your hair is dirty a lot and it smells a lot but there's absolutely no way around it now I didn't realize this before I started working out but literally if you're going to the gym every single day or even if it's five times a week your hair is gonna be dirty a lot you'll have to wash it I wash it every three days because I don't like to have my hair color fade out but when I tell you you have to wash it a lot you have to wash it a lot like you could have really fresh hair going to the gym and come when you come back you're gonna have to wash it. it's just gonna look like a hot mess number two you're hungry all the Time. I sometimes wake up at literally 3 a.m. because my stomach is growling so loud and I'm so hungry. Now you can obviously live a healthy lifestyle without feeling hungry because you can track your calories and all that stuff. But if you are somebody that's overweight and especially if you're a beginner and you're someone that already eats over their calorie intake, like daily calorie intake, and you need to cut it down, even if it's like two to 300 calories, you will feel hungry no matter what. And the only good thing about this is that your body will adjust to it fairly quickly. So maybe give it like a week or two weeks and then you should be okay. But the process of getting there is a little hard. And as I'm sitting talking to you guys, I'm a little hungry, but you gotta just work to it. And just remember that once you get to your goal, you can eat your maintenance calories, which are a lot higher than what you need to lose weight. I'll tell you that much. Number three, music is going to be your best friend and once you start lifting properly, you will notice that the, the way you look at music is gonna be completely different, especially while you're working out. Everybody will find a different type of genre that they like that will help them lift heavier, run faster, do more reps. Like for me, I like to listen to rap and like angry music and if I'm skipping I like to listen to like upbeat kind of house house type of music or like club mixes and I like to skip to the beat whereas my brother which is I find this so weird he goes to more slow tempos and he can work out better and faster if he's working out to slow tempo. So it'll vary from everybody, but you just gotta find a type of music that you like, and this will really help you getting into the zone in your workouts compared to something that you actually aren't feeling at all. Number four, nobody will tell you how long it actually took for them to get to their official goal. It is much longer than accept expected and also while you're working out as you're going through the months and the weeks your goal will keep changing like maybe it'll be like a goal for you to lose 10 pounds and then it'll change for you to lose 20 pounds. Your goal will constantly be changing so technically you never reach a goal because you're always changing your goal and nobody really tells you that and you have to just prepare your mind that maybe you will always keep changing your goal and you won't be able to hit a certain goal at the time that you want to hit it because you might find something else that you want to hit instead. Number five, for all the girls out there, guys too, but girls definitely don't know this and I was ranting about this on Snapchat yesterday. Your clothes are gonna fit really different. Now, not in a bad way at all. I just mean like if you're somebody who you're, if your goal is to like get thicker legs and then you're working out and stuff, you just have to remember that you may not be able to find the type of clothing that you want. For example, I was out shopping yesterday and I was trying to find something for a trip that I'm going on and nothing would fit my body properly because, not because like I'm just, like I just look like a man, like it's nothing because of that, is because some things that I'm trying on, like for jeans for example, sometimes my thighs or my quads like won't like the jeans won't go up my legs and then the other times 
the waist is too small and then the pant leg is too big if you lift you know what i mean and the same goes for a shirt if you're trying a shirt on it may be too tight like for your back area but then on your waist it fits fine and then if you go a size up it'll be too big for your back area and then too it's just really confusing i hope you guys understand what i mean but you got to just work around it there are clothing there is going to be clothing out there that you will find to fit your body type but just remember as you're working out your body type will be changing all the time and you will need to find new types of clothing to fit you number six now people always tell talk about how important calories are but they don't really emphasize how important calories are this ties into the whole like people having slow metabolisms which isn't really the case because in general from person to person the metabolic rates don't change or vary that much they do vary but not not so significantly so usually for people that are overweight what they do is they overestimate the amount of exercise that they're doing and then they and underestimate the amount of calories that they're eating and that kind of leads to the whole slow metabolism thing where people just need to realize especially for beginners because sometimes when i'm doing my challenges i tell people to track their calories on my fitness pal and a lot of a lot of people are like oh no i don't need to track because i can i know i'm just eating 1200 calories a day or whatever it may be but in reality when i get them to track even if it's one day they're not eating 1200 calories they're eating like 15 16 1700 calories or even more just because you can't People who are beginners, they can't portion out their meals. You have to, have to, have to, have to measure and weigh and track all the food that you're eating just in the beginning because it will help you and it will help your mind visualize the amount of portions you need a lot. And I think that is really, 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 really an understated for a lot of fitness people. They don't mention how important it is. Numero seven. Gym intimidation is a real thing. Thing. like if you are somebody especially for beginners once again if you go into the gym and you are intimidated by the people around the gym or like you know usually it's like where the dumbbells are because everybody's like doing these and like huffing and puffing and it's okay to be intimidated by everybody at the gym it is a real thing but there is a way around it that where you don't have to feel so scared and like vulnerable around there and that that is most of the time that's the reason why people don't go to the gym you can run away from it like you can just avoid it completely but once again running away from your problems doesn't make the problem go away you need to face your fears like everybody always says and you could use it in a positive way like i'll tell you this much everybody starts at the same place like i started by being able to lift nothing a lot of these gym freaks that you see in the gym that you're intimidated by they started off just like you also being scared to go to the gym you just have to use it in a positive way so if you're going to the gym and you're intimidated put on some really good music that you can focus on just yourself and use those people as a positive reinforcement thinking like okay this is the person i want to look like or want to be like and just use it to your advantage and be like okay just take it one day at a time and each i'm telling you maybe like if you do this for like two weeks you won't feel intimidated anymore and also you have to remember everybody feels intimidated even all these fitness people or even including myself when i'm at the gym i do feel scared about certain things but they just don't show it and that's what you have to do and honestly everybody that goes to the gym is usually very very nice everyone's just trying to work on themselves and if you were to ask for advice if you were asked for a spot or you were just to talk or say hi to somebody most of the time 98% of the time they're all really nice really helpful so there's nothing for you to be scared of you just have to try to work past it and honestly one day you're gonna walk to the gym and you won't even be nervous anymore number eight number eight most of the time people don't tell you to find something that you enjoy at the gym like typically when you think about okay I'm gonna go work out or I'm gonna start working out you normally only think about cardio like running on the treadmill or something and then like lifting weights like biceps triceps squats whatever it may be but so many times people forget to tell you that you don't need to do the same workouts as everybody else out there now most fitness people you will find that they enjoy their workouts they look forward to their workouts now we don't like always like oh my god i can't wait to go to the gym but most of the time that's what i feel because i enjoy the type of lifting i do like for powerlifting or for skipping like i look forward 
forward to these things because every day I go into the gym, I think I can crush a new goal or do something good. Now, if you aren't enjoying the type of workouts you're doing, that just means you gotta switch it up. So if you're somebody that likes to do yoga, do yoga. If you're somebody that likes to dance, dance. Find something that is specific to what you like to do and that way you won't dread it. And then if you don't dread your workouts, you're able to sustain it for a long period of time. And that's how you make it a healthy lifestyle rather than just like a little portion of the year where people give up automatically. Last two ones, number nine is you have to pee a lot. Everybody tells you that you have to drink a lot of water. I, I think that's a given, but they don't tell you how much pee comes out of you. I'm sorry, TMI, I know. But honestly, sometimes I'll be driving and like all of a sudden I have to go to the washroom. Like I almost peed my pants so many times, I can't even tell you guys. And my family gets so mad at me because it comes out of nowhere. You drink so much water, it has to come out. So just remember, because you will be drinking a lot of water, which is really good for you, you also will be having to go to the washroom a lot. That means in the middle of the night, while you're driving somewhere, while you're sitting down in class, while you're working, even during your workouts, just keep that in mind. And then the last one, which is a really important one for females also, they don't tell you that you're like, chest size is gonna go down now this will vary from person to person because as much as you don't want to lose the fat around that area you can't decide where the fat is gonna go from and also for people that are really overweight they will they will notice a significant size drop but you gotta just embrace it because number one, that's a lot better than you being overweight and unhappy with how you look. Number two, this is literally your body proportioning itself out. So you don't wanna look unproportioned or misproportioned, however you say it. This is literally just your body proportioning itself out. You gotta embrace it, you gotta take it as you go. You're not gonna go completely flat, I'll tell you that much, but there will be some kind of size difference, but nothing too significant, unless you're gonna be like, 7% body fat, you guys don't have to worry about it. You just gotta embrace it because it's part of the transformation process. That's it, I think I did it under 10 minutes. Oh my God, if I did this under 10 minutes, I'd be so proud of myself. This was a fun video for me to make because I actually had so much fun writing all this stuff down because I don't know. These are things I've learned over the years that nobody really told me, which they seem pretty simple, but you don't realize it until you start working out. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you back next Friday for another fitness video. And of course, I'll see you on Monday for maybe a beauty video, maybe a hair video. I don't know yet, but I'll see you guys next time. And let me know if you have any other kind of fitness video ideas because I'd love to create them. You can let me know in the comments. And please, please, please subscribe and like the video because it helps me out so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Look at all my notes. All my notes. Hashtag successful YouTuber. Hello, I'm still recording brothers.